Hi everyone, sorry it's so late. It's quarter after midnight here in Michigan. I had a long day actually. It was the viewing for my grandpa's funeral. And I've had to do a lot of accepting this week, um, accepting the things that I can't change, such as my grandpa passing away. You know, he's been pretty sick for about a year, um, a year now, and he was in the hospital and had something happen to him. And, and also, recently my sister and her husband are both overseas um, fighting that darn war in Afghanistan, and they had a baby last March 22nd. So he's my nephew, his name's Mason. Um, they are being sent to Germany after they're finished with their deployment in Afghanistan. So I've really kind of had to cope with a lot of things. And um, it's good that they're going to Germany because they're not going to have to go overseas and like to Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan again. They can stay in Germany and they won't be attacked. So that's a really good thing that I've come to realize. Um, you know, I really haven't had much of an appetite all day. I went to bed at about 1.30 last night, woke up at 5.30, had to go do a breathalyzer for court, and on the way back, a buddy of mine and I stopped at a restaurant, and then I came home and took a nap, woke up and cleaned my house. Now, mind you, I was intending on being at my grandpa's viewing at like noon, and I woke up from my nap at about 1. I didn't finish cleaning my house until about... No, I woke up from my nap at about 11. I didn't finish cleaning my house until about 1.30. It's spotless. It's perfectly clean. But, um, I don't really... I'm tired, you know? And, I don't know. Um, I have this guy that I'm talking to. He offered to come to the viewing to support me and be there for me. And of course, you know, I'm not going to say no, don't come. But I knew that my mom would be pretty apprehensive towards him and not really recept him very well, which indeed happened. He um, he didn't receive the warmest of welcomes from my mom because she knows that whenever I get involved with a guy, I just give him my all. And it gets pretty intense. I forget about myself and I put things last. Um, so anyways, we went to dinner afterwards at this really nice, classy restaurant because I think he feels like he has to wine and dine me, but I always drink tea at those sorts of restaurants. Um, I ended up talking to him about the situation. You know, he says that we're not in a relationship yet, but we've seen each other about, well, since for about a month now, we've seen each other. We've been seeing each other um, once or twice a week. Anyways, the point being is that we were at the table and we were talking about me and how I'm going through different stages and phases of my life, such as um, alcoholism and bulimia. And he asked me, like, he goes, well, you're not still suffering from that, are you? And of course, what brought the topic on, I believe, was the tattoo I have on my forearm, and I showed you guys it earlier, but I'll let you see it again, um, I don't know if you can see it, whatever, you, you get the point of what it is, um, there you go, okay, anyways, my mom thinks I'm gonna regret getting that tattoo years later, and if I do, oh well, you know, don't regret anything, because at the time, it's what I wanted, so, I don't regret many, anything in the past that I've done, even if it did make me sad for the moment, but in the long run, it benefited me. Anyways, back on track. The, um, I said, yeah, actually, I am. And then I started to say, well, I, I don't do it every time I eat, which is a lie. You know, I, I wish I could not do it every time I ate, but um, I told them, I'm like, well, I'm not going to do it with this meal. And I really had no intentions to because I, I didn't consume much at all today or anything for really that matter. And we were going to go into the weave. Excuse me, I'm tired. We were getting ready to leave, and I, I had to go to the bathroom. Like, I really had to pee. And he goes, well, you, you might want to go now. You have a long drive ahead of you. I have, like, an hour and 40-minute drive back home. So I did, and naturally, I, I would never go in the bathroom and, and not do that. You know what I mean? Um, F-I-V. So I did. And, I, I mean, it's 
like I didn't even question am I gonna or am I, gonna, or am I not going to like I took those steps to the bathroom knowing I was gonna use the bathroom and knowing I was gonna do a harmful thing to myself um it's just how it is and I didn't want to be in there too long I didn't want to make things obvious so um we said our goodbyes cute little kisses goodbye boys are fun you know they give you that comfort that you need but some of my baby kittens that's why I got cats because they give me unconditional love and I want to get a plant but that's beyond topic anyways um so I was driving home and I knew that I was I had this curfew every night through the court system I had to be home by 11 o'clock um I knew I was gonna miss curfew but I had to pull over and finish when I started in the bathroom um so I think I approached the three red lights and just opened my door and acted as if it's normal to lean over and do what you do um you know it's just the disease has overtaken me so much. I don't care who sees me do it, where I do it, when I do it. You know, I just be respectful and don't do it on somebody's property that isn't disposable. Um, and it sucks, you know. Because I'm really not happy until I get all that food out of my system. Uh, so, I don't know. Something I heard today is that um, please everybody and no one is happy. Please yourself and somebody is happy. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I know I am a huge people pleaser. Like, I will do anything for just about anybody. You know, I'll give, when I have money, I just give it away. <laughs> pretty much and, and buy things. I was telling um, this guy that I'm talking to, we're hanging out tomorrow and I want to go to the mall and buy a nice ring or a, a new outfit or a pair of shoes. I haven't bought myself anything in a while except for this um, Bose sound system, but I don't know. Um, the guy that I'm talking to, I was talking to him and I was like, my boobs are getting smaller, you know, I'm, 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 I'm changing and he goes, he goes, oh. And I don't know what he said. He's like, I don't know what kind of response you're looking for me. And I'm like, well, I kind of want you to say, like, well, no matter what you look, you'll always be beautiful. And he goes, well, I'm not really a boob man anyway, so whatever. You know? And he goes, you have, like, the, you have a perfect body. And, of course, I'm like, really? I do not think so. And I shouldn't have said that because it just displays my low self-confidence and no guy finds that attractive. But really put me off is that, he was saying that because I'm going through so many different issues right now that getting into a relationship he wouldn't want to come in the middle of my recovery. And I didn't want him to feel that way. I'm like, so you're saying that you're not going to date me because I'm going through recoveries at the moment? And he goes, no, that's not what I'm saying. He's just, he's just concerned that he will get in the way. And um, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But I think that we deserve a shot at trying it. We're taking things super slow. Like, first date didn't test. It's super slow. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else I have to say on today other than I'm exhausted and I cannot wait to go to bed. Um, hope you guys had a great day and I hope I didn't say anything that triggered anybody. You know, I never have any intention to. I'm trying to keep my comments as vague as possible. You know, I could certainly go into a pretty detailed video about my daily life, but I don't think they'd be very much appreciated. So I try and keep things at a minimum. Um, the triggering words. Okie doke, friends. I'll see you soon. Tomorrow. Sleep well.